Hi guys, this is um, Fernando, and this is my uh, tutorial about how to add a custom desktop launcher for Godot 3.0 on Ubuntu 17.10. So basically, all we're going to really be doing is gonna, uh, we're going to create a custom desktop launcher like these, and we're going to uh, associate the right um, where our Godot 3.0 program is downloaded and we're going to put that together and then I'm going to show you how to add it to your favorites uh, bar like this down here and then that way you can just click Godot 3.0 the icon here and then you have you can easily and conveniently access Godot 3.0 so the very first thing you're going to need is the actual game engine itself Godot um, I'm on GodotEngine.org here um, and I'm just going to go to download here. And again, I'm using Ubuntu 17.10. So if you're using Mac, Windows, um, you're just going to go to the corresponding uh, download link. So I'm on Linux, so um, go ahead and download uh, whichever version you use, either the 64-bit, 32-bit, or the mono version 64-bit. So once you download it, uh, just it's just really important to remember where you put the um, execu executable file. So on my computer, I have the, the actual program file right here. This is going to be important for later in the video. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is uh, the actual icon that we want to um, associate with our desktop launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the GitHub for Godot Engine. And theoretically, you could download actually any custom icon you want. Um, I'm just using the official Godot uh, Engine icon. So, and I'll add all the links that uh, I show in this video to the description of the uh, video as well. OK, so I'm on the GitHub page, and we need to go to Okay, icon.png. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, so this is the icon that we want, or that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and download it here uh, under Godot Projects. Um, you can put it wherever you want. And I'm going to name it desktop icon just to make it different than the icon that's already here. And this icon, I believe, is for when you open up Godot 3.0 of the program, it'll have an icon next to uh, the project that you're working on or that you've created. Okay, so we've done that. Okay, so now let's go to. Okay, so basically, um, just so before we actually create the desktop file, um, I'm going to show you basically what we're going to do. So we're going to be basically copying this information here into um, a text editor, basically, to tell the system that we're creating a new desktop file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up terminal. So on my the keyboard shortcut I'm going to be using is Control Alt T. I don't know if I did that right. Oh, yeah. Oops. Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Okay. So I'm in I'm in terminal right now, and I'm going to I'm going to type the following uh, command. So sudo uh, get 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 it. I think. Not sure to be honest how to pronounce that. Um, so we're going to actually create the actual file now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create it in my user. Yep, I had it right. User share applications and okay. So this is the actual folder. Uh, so right here, what I'm going to type is the actual name of the desktop file. So I'm going to go ahead and just call it godot.desktop. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type my sudo password. It's kind of like typing in your admin password for Windows or for Mac. Okay, so I just did it and basically um, this will pop up. This is our like our empty desktop file essentially. So I'm gonna go back and uh, let me just, let me find, okay. Perfect. So I'm in, I'm on this page and I'm just going to go ahead and copy the, uh, that information and I'm going to paste it directly into our desktop file. So just to break it down, we first have the desktop entry. Okay. So we have comment. So I'm just going to go ahead and put um, open source 2D and 3D game engine okay uh, terminal I just leave it as false I don't uh, name I'm going to put Godot 3.0 okay so for this so where it says exec oh sorry I, I totally made a mistake here sorry so um, for each field you want to make sure that there's no spaces here in between uh, like the, the letter O and the equal sign. You want to make sure there's no spaces just like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work or it's going to give you an error, error message. For the executable file, um, basically, this is where we uh, where our program file is located that we want to run, essentially. So I'm going to go back to my I'm gonna go back to here. Okay, so so th this is where my program file is located. All I'm gonna do is right click it, copy, and then paste that into here. And this is a very important step. This took me like days to figure out. Uh, so here, if for the for just the exec uh, field, you want to put the the quotation right yes okay quotation marks at the beginning and at the end if you don't do this it's actually not going to work or in my experience it doesn't it did not work for me if i left the quotation marks out okay so that's where my program file is located next we want to go to the icon so um, in my case i use the godot engine official icon i call the desktop icon uh, in your case you can actually use any other icon a custom icon whatever you want so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste. So that's where the file is located so that it knows which file to, well, I totally messed up. Sorry. Actually, sorry about that. So I put the wrong thing there. I'm going to just press control Z to go back. I got ahead of myself. The type you're going to leave as application. So um, for the icon field, we're gonna put it right here. So again, go to your uh, picture file, copy and paste. Okay, so that should be correct. So I'm gonna click save. And now just to make sure I did this correctly, I'm gonna exit out of here. I'm going to exit out of here. I'm gonna go to my files. And I'm going to go to where I created that desktop file. Um, so let's see. So okay, user, share, and applications. So if I did it correctly, it should have the Godot. Oh, perfect. Yep. So this is our desktop file. We've created it. So theoretically, it should hopefully show up oh perfect okay perfect okay nice so it shows up as our applic as an application we just simply right click add to favorites and it's on our favorites favorites bar uh, i'm going to move this to the beginning and let me just get out of here oops get out of there get out of here okay so our last test is to make sure that it's working properly so once i click godot 3.0 it should open the actual program. Let's see what happens.
Oh, perfect. Awesome. Okay, it worked. Awesome. You can see below and uh, to um, take a look. Uh, thank you guys very much for your time, and I hope you guys have a great day.